Hi, good morning everybody. Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. Behind me here is a 1950s house that my company is doing a whole house remodel on. My company is known for fine craftsmanship, of course, but really what we're doing here is more than just a remodel. We're really doing a deep energy retrofit. The goals on this project, um, besides looking uh, architecturally uh, beautiful, which it will be. We're working with uh, Dick Clark Architecture, Talk specifically about the six things that we're doing um, on this deep energy retrofit that I think also would apply uh, if you're thinking about a remodel or if you're building new construction as well. Number one, we're changing out all the HVAC system on, on uh, this project. Number two, we're dramatically changing uh, the insulation system. We're also adding outsulation. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. Um, next, we're doing uh, quite a bit of air sealing in this house, which is every bit as important as insulation. Uh, number five, we're changing out the windows and the doors on this project. For uh, We're going from 1950s windows to, uh, to obviously the highest quality that we can get in, in uh, today's market. And lastly, we're going to a conditioned attic. This one is especially important uh, in a hot, humid climate, whereas it may not be uh, the thing to do in the Northeast if you're watching this video. So let's talk about a few of those systems. Number one, the HVAC systems. This is a, a two-story house behind me. Uh, it got remodeled about 10 years ago, and so half the house was 1950s, and the back portion that's two-story behind me uh, was done about 10 years ago with new framing and fairly new bat insulation. Uh, but the HVAC system, both the new and the old, were, were pretty bottom-of-the-line systems that were not performing very well. We're adding all new rigid metal ductwork. Check out some of my other videos to, to show how we really want to do that correctly. Uh, but we're doing two uh, brand new systems. We've got a Mitsubishi uh, low static pressure variable refrigerant flow system on the upstairs. That's a 20 plus sear system, an incredible system. It basically is, is a form of a, uh, of a mini split. Number two, the second zone, which is the largest zone, is an American standard uh, gas furnace, 95% efficient, uh, coupled with a 16 sear uh, two stage compressor on the outside. And then lastly, when we talk about comfort, very important to uh, in this Texas climate to put a dehumidifier in this house. So we're using an Ultra Air. I believe this is an XT150 going in this house. Next, let's talk about insulation. My spray foam crew is inside right now. We're doing spray foam in all the cavities. This is a two by four framed house. Um, and so we're using spray foam in all those cavities as well as on the roof line. We're also doing quite a bit of outsulation. On top of the roof deck, we've got our metal roof on now, but underneath that metal roof is two inches of rigid foam. This is approximately R7 per inch, and we've got two layers of that. So I've got R14 on the roof deck, as well as the spray foam inside the house. And then on the outside walls, you can see we've got some uh, foil-faced three-quarter inch rigid foam. This is on the entire wrapping of the uh, outside walls on this house. Um, so now um, let's talk uh, in the inside of the house about how we've actually fashioned uh, that condition attic. So join me on the inside. All right, so now we're in the upstairs in the house. And the last point that I really want to make is to make a conditioned attic for your house when you're remodeling, especially when you're doing a deep energy retrofit. These conditioned attics make a huge difference. And really, one of the only ways you can do it is with spray foam. So take a look at our spray foam applicator right here. He's spray foaming that foam at the roof deck. Again, remember, we've got some rigid foam on top, but he's adding at least five and a half inches. Sometimes we'll spray more like seven and a half inches to the roof line. And look where the ducts are in relationship to where he's spraying. The ducts are below the insulation now. So our ductwork, even though it's brand new and installed very well, is still gonna have some amount of duct loss. But let's say if we've got, I think this one tested down to about four or so percent duct loss. Now that 4% duct loss or 4% of the air in the system that's lost at the joints and other locations is leaking into a conditioned attic. Most houses in Austin, Texas have an attic that's 140 degrees on a typical July day. Our attic in this house is gonna be probably five degrees hotter than the rest of the house. So if our thermostat is set at 78, our attic uh, may be, let's say, 82, 83 degrees. And that duct is gonna be going through a much more habitable space now because of that. And look at that spray foam, just totally air sealing, especially around those, uh, those areas on the, uh, on the bird blocks. That's where the rafters come down and meet the top of the wall line. That's totally air sealing that area and we've got that much spray foam in that space. It's a really good product. We like using it. And again, it's not just because of our value, it's because of that, that air sealing. 
All right, everybody, that's about it on this project. Thanks for joining me. And please, if you're considering a remodel, this is the time to do a deep energy retrofit. You really want to do these things while you're remodeling. You might replace your kitchen in 20 years, but this client or whoever owns this house after this client is never going to change their insulation. It's going to be another 50, maybe 100 years before the insulation, the outsulation, the windows, the HVAC system, the ductwork, all those things get changed again. So now is the time to do this work. Thanks for joining me, everybody. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.